Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Thank you for joining us today. In Titus chapter 2, we read these words, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in the present age looking for the blessed hope and glorious appearing of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for our, himself his own special people, zealous for good works. I wonder when it talks about the idea that we are being redeemed from every lawless deed purifying for himself his own special people, zealous for good works, that we should live soberly, righteously, godly in this present age. How many of us does that explanation describe our lives? If we are followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, then that should be on our resume. We should be able to say that thanks to God, by the power of God, we are able to live in such a way that brings glory to God. Let me tell you today, Happy New Year. I wonder how many of us have set some New Year's resolutions that we're going to try and do something better this year than we did last year. I do that oftentimes, try to turn over new leaves. And then as I turn over those new leaves, uh, the wind of the world will blow and they'll just blow them right back over again where I started from. You see, we can't turn over new leaves for ourselves. We are wholly dependent upon the strength and the power of someone to do that in our lives for us, to, to do better. And listen to what the Bible says. All things are possible with God. When we try to turn over a new leaf in our own life, we're going to fail most often. But the Bible says all things are possible with God. And so the things that perhaps year after year after year after year that you failed at as you're turning over new leaves in your life for the next year, if you would submit those things to the Lord, yield those things to the Lord, ask God to be the strength, the power behind which those things are accomplished, you will find that that will work far better than we can do it on our own. The grace which saves us is that which also strengthens us and empowers us to live in a new way which leads us to joy, to peace, and to victory. It is a work of the grace of God. We must yield ourselves to His direction for our lives. How many of you have traveled over the summers and as you're traveling, you'll come up to road work. There'll be signs warning you of that prior to getting there. And oftentimes down there somewhere, there'll be a, a person standing out on the highway and they'll have a sign. Sometimes it says slow. Sometimes it says stop. Uh, if you will yield your rights to that person, then your journey will be far better off. However, if you rebel against that, if you disobey the ruling of what he says to slow down or to stop, oftentimes there may be a wreck involved in your journey. The Lord is gracious enough and loving enough to tell us when we need to slow down, to tell us when we need to stop, to tell us when we're allowed to go, and when we yield our rights, our thoughts, to his instruction, it will go well for our journey. But when we decide that we're gonna do it on our own in contrary to his direction, then oftentimes we're going to wreck in our journey of life. I don't know about you, but the wrecks that I've had in my journey of life have not been pleasant. I would much rather just yield to the one who knows what's coming before us who sees around the corners that we can't see around and over the hills that we can't see over. To safely maneuver through our journey of life, there are choices. We either to obey or to disobey. To obey creates a successful journey. To disobey, to refuse to believe, causes wrecks in our lives. And so it is with the direction of the Lord in our lives yield to the direction of God over our lives, 
and our journey will be pleasant, will be filled with his power and his grace, which is sufficient to see us through. Happy New Year. May you live it all year long, yielded to God's will for your life. Father, thank you for loving us enough, caring for us enough to have a plan and a purpose for our lives. May we yield that right to you and may we follow your direction and your instruction in life. Bless those who hear these words, your word, and may this be one of the best years we've ever known. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. God bless you and have a great year in the Lord.